A prop fan, also called an open rotor engine, or unducted fan, is a type of aircraft engine related in concept to both the turboprop and turbofan, but distinct from both. In the 1970s, Hamilton Standard described its prop fan as a small diameter, highly loaded multiple bladed variable pitch propulsor having swept blades with thin advanced airfoil sections, integrated with a nacelle contoured to retard the airflow through the blades thereby reducing compressibility losses and designed to operate with a turbine engine and using a single stage reduction gear resulting in high performance. In 1982, the weekly aviation magazine Flight International defined the prop fan as a propeller with 8 to 10 highly swept blades that cruised at a speed of 390 to 480 knots, although its definition evolved a few years later with the emergence of contra-rotating prop fans. In 1986, British engine maker Rolls-Royce used the term open rotor as a synonym for the original meaning of a prop fan. As of 2015, the European Aviation Safety Agency defined an open rotor concretely as a turbine engine fan stage that is not enclosed within a casing. In contrast, it had only a working definition of an open rotor engine, calling it a turbine engine featuring contra-rotating fan stages not enclosed within a casing. The engine uses a gas turbine to drive an unshrouded contra-rotating propeller like a turboprop, but the design of the propeller itself is more tightly coupled to the turbine design, and the two are certified as a single unit. About a decade after German aerospace engineers began exploring the idea of using swept wings to reduce drag on transonic speed aircraft, Hamilton Standard in the 1940s attempted to apply a similar concept to engine propellers. One of the earliest engines that resembled the prop fan concept was the 4,710 pounds force Metrovic F5, which featured twin contra-rotating fans 14 blades in the fore fan and 12 blades in the aft fan at the rear of the engine and was first run in 1946. Other contra-rotating propeller engines that featured on common aircraft included the four powerful Kuznetsov NK-12 engines on the Soviet Union's Tupolev 295 high-speed military bomber and Antonov N-22 military transport aircraft, and the Armstrong Siddeley double Mamba engines on the British ferry Gannett anti-submarine aircraft. Hamilton Standard tested numerous variations in conjunction with NASA. Under the Prop Fan Test Assessment Program, Lockheed Georgia proposed, the engine used an eight-bladed, nine-foot diameter, single-rotation Hamilton Standard State Route 7 prop fan. The test engine, which was named the Allison 501M78, had a thrust rating of 9,000 lbf. The GE36 unducted fan, from American engine maker General Electric with 35% participation from French partner Snecma, was a variation on the original prop fan concept and resembled a pusher configuration piston engine. Airframers, who had been wary of issue-prone gearboxes since the 1950s, liked GE's gearless version of the prop fan. Boeing intended to offer GE's pusher UDF engine on the 7J7 platform, and McDonnell Douglas planned to do likewise on their MD-94X airliner. The GE-36 UDF for the 7J7 was planned to have a thrust of 25,000 pounds force, but GE claimed that in general its UDF concept could cover a thrust range of 9,000 to 75,000 lbf, so a UDF engine could possibly match or surpass the thrust of the CF-6, GE's family of widebody engines at that time. McDonnell Douglas developed a proof-of-concept aircraft by modifying its company-owned MD-80, which is suited for prop fans due to its aft fuselage-mounted engines, in preparation for the possible prop fan-powered MD-91 and MD-92 derivatives and a possible MD-94X clean-sheet aircraft. The GE-36 would have the same 25,000 lbf thrust on the MD-92X, but the same engine would be derated to 22,000 lbf thrust for the smaller MD-91X. The MD-80 was also successfully flight-tested in April 1989 with the 578-DX prop fan, which was a prototype from the Allison Engine Company that was also derived from the Allison XT701 and built with Hamilton Standard propellers. The engine program was jointly developed between Allison and another division of United Technologies, the engine maker Pratt & Whitney. The Ilyushin Il-118, an upgrade to the four-turboprop Ilyushin Il-18 airliner, proposed in 1984, the aircraft would instead be powered by two D-236 prop fans, with the eight-bladed front propeller on each engine rotating at a speed of 1,100 revolutions per minute and the six-bladed back propeller turning at 1,000 revolutions per minute to lower noise and vibration. In the 1980s the engine was initially incompetitive against the international aero engine's rival offering, the IAE V2500. General Electric lost interest in having the GE36 cannibalize the CFM56, which went five years before it received its first order in 1979, and while, the UDF could be made reliable by earlier standards, 
Turbo fans were getting much, much better than that. General L. UDF's blade technology directly into the GE90, the most powerful jet engine ever produced, for the Boeing 777. At the beginning of the 1990s, the Soviet Union, Russia performed flight tests on the Progress D-236, a geared contra-rotating prop fan engine based on the core of the Progress D-36 turbofan, with eight blades on the front propeller and six blades on the back propeller. Like the Progress D-236, the more powerful Progress D-27 prop fan engine is a contra-rotating prop fan with eight front blades and six back blades, but the D-27 has advanced composite blades with a reduced thickness to cord ratio and a more pronounced curvature at the leading edge. In the first decade of the 21st century, rising jet fuel prices increased emphasis on engine airframe efficiency to reduce emissions, which renewed interest in the prop fan concept for jetliners beyond the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350XWB. For instance, Airbus patented aircraft designs with twin rear-mounted contra-rotating prop fans. Rolls-Royce had the rear-configured RB.509-11 and front-configured RB.509-14 geared prop fan designs, which produced 15,000 to 25,000 lbf thrust using the gas generator from its XG40 engine with 13,000 horsepower of shaft power. The Rolls-Royce RB3011 engine would have a diameter of about 170 in and require a 16,000 shaft HP gearbox. After the completion of ground testing at the end of 2017, Safran's geared open rotor engine had reached technology readiness level 5. The demonstrator, based on the core of the Snecma M88 military fighter engine, uses up to 12,200 horsepower, provides a thrust of about 22,000 lbf, and would cruise at a speed of Mach 0.75. Safran's future open rotor engine would have a maximum diameter of almost 14.8 featuring in 2021, CFM announced its revolutionary innovation for sustainable engines development program to produce a single-stage, gear-driven prop fan paired with active stators in a puller tractor configuration with flight tests to begin by 2025. The engine is slated for certification as an integrated engine, instead of a traditional propeller engine, because of its airframe integration complexity. Since the inside of the propeller is moving slower in the rotational direction than the outside, the blade is progressively more swept back toward the outside, leading to a curved shape similar to a scimitar, a practice that was first used as far back as 1909, in the Chauvier two-bladed wood propeller used on the Blario 11. The Hamilton, a 39-degree maximum at the blade tips, allowing the prop fan to produce thrust even though the blades had a helical tip speed of about Mach 1.15. The prop fan research in the 1980s discovered ways to reduce noise, but at the cost of reduced fuel efficiency, mitigating some of the advantages of a prop fan. Engine makers expect prop fan implementations to meet community noise regulations without sacrificing the efficiency advantage. Geared prop fans should have an advantage over ungeared prop fans for the same reason. Another study estimated that if prop fan engines were used to power a hybrid wing body aircraft instead of a conventional tube and wing aircraft, noise levels could be reduced by as much as 38 EPN dB compared to ICAO Chapter 4 requirements. In 2007, the British budget airline EasyJet introduced its EcoJet concept, a 150 to 250 seat aircraft with V-mounted open rotor engines joined to the rear fuselage and shielded by a U-tail. A twin-engine aircraft carrying 100 to 150 passengers would require prop fan diameters of 120 to 168 inches, and a prop fan with a propeller diameter of 236 in would theoretically produce almost 60,000 lbf of thrust. These sizes achieve the desired high bypass ratios of over 30, but they are approximately twice the diameter of turbofan engines of equivalent capability. For the Rolls-Royce RB3011 prop fan prototype, a pylon of about 8.3 feet long would be required to connect the center of each engine to the side of the fuselage. The rule of thumb is that at sea level with a static engine, one shaft horsepower is roughly equivalent of 2 pounds force thrust, but at cruise altitude, that changes to about 1 pound force thrust.